So most most people think that uh, the trade skill requires uh, you to use the uh, the trader's cargo delivery mechanic, um, and it's actually not the case. So this is a decent um, money-making method when you start the game. But, um, in terms of leveling up trade fast, you need to use a different mechanic. So I mean, I'm just here to show you. You can deliver cargo for money, but what you really want to do is deliver your own cargo. So right now I am at Ampreyla, um, which I think is the best location to do this. Um, what you need is two villages which are close together, and their name is also at the start of the alphabet. Um, so this is a little bit different to the method we hope that was used historically. So um, what I, what I did when I was having my main account to under was, was between Dianto, Gmail and Ebereth. Um The reason I'm coming here now, even though it's got Snow debuff, is because it's A and a B. And they're a little bit further apart, but because of the way that the, uh, the making a cargo mechanic works, you need to have something that starts with A, ideally. So what I've also done is I've made my inventory capacity as large as possible. I do have a couple of items which is going to impact my uh, XP per hour but it should be minimal um, so what you want to do is make sure you've got as many mules as you can and also as many troops as you can it doesn't doesn't matter what tier they are um, so yeah basically the more the more you can carry the better so I'm going to show the, the basic method first and then I'm going to move on to the the more advanced method which uh, is like maybe 5% faster but this method should work for uh, most people so first of all you're gonna buy some beer so it is pretty expensive to level up trade I don't know maybe 100k or something you just keep buying beer so it weighs uh, 30 which is brilliant you want some really heavy items to uh, to weigh you down as as I mentioned the, uh, the the trade XP is determined by the weight the weight of the cargo delivered it's nothing to do with money from the from the uh, the trader now what you want to do is you want to keep on just uh, buying uh, beer until you want to be, uh, you can use this little button to open your move speed until you can still move. Um, so yeah, I'm already overweight here, but I've only got a light load. And I'm going to keep going until I've got a heavy load, and then once I can't move anymore, I'm going to drop to one. So let's see. Let me still. I reckon the next one will do it. Oh no, uh, another one after this. Yeah, still going. Uh, okay, yeah, so I'm going to drop this beer. So 14 beers is good for 290 pike capacity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this village with my beer. And then when I get there, I'm going to make a cargo. Although obviously it's taking quite a while to walk between the two because I've got this debuff. I might buy a mulled wine as well. Um, in fact, I'm just going to do that now. I'll just uh, skip forward. Got my mulled wine and I've used it, so now I should be a little bit faster for this leveling. It's probably worth it as well for you guys. I've asked Ineon and Bor Boriagor, however you say it. Don't really understand these uh, Latin. Latin names. So I'll do this again. And as you can see, when you, when you open it up, um, you have to scroll down from the top. So, the fastest thing to do here is just to do a thousand. And I've, I've selected it and press Ctrl C. So now, when I go in here, I can just press Ctrl V. And you, yeah. You uh, you lose a hundred dinars per cargo, which is not really that bad. So I'm going to pick this up. And then I'm going to take this to... I pressed the escape and not tab. I've asked in here. So, I mean, uh, I'll just write this down. So, my trade skill. It's going to open up Excel. Two seven five.
So I'll go to the village and I'll have him take the load. Take the load. Okay, and I mean, okay, so it's gone up two levels, so it's a massive amount. But what you can notice is normally you'd be able to pick it up, but you have to exit the village and go back in again. And this is basically the procedure for uh, for this basic method. It just have, takes a little bit longer than uh, normal, than what I want, than the meta method, which is annoying. But there we go. And it's Boro Boriagora. Control V, Control V, create. Oh, I dismounted my horse. Take this to there. And yes, yeah, so, I mean it's massive XP, uh, two levels up. Um, yeah, so that's like three thousand XP or something. I don't, don't even know. It's, it's a lot. I mean, what was I at? Yeah, that was uh, fourteen hundred. Yeah, about about three thousand experience per um, journey. So, on each journey, maybe it takes about a minute or something. Let me just extrapolate that. Yeah. 180,000 XP per hour. So it's really fast. You see, you can see it just it levels up so fast. Um, but obviously you got this uh, loading in time and running back to the headman again. Now, so I'm just going to say, I'm going to do one more delivery so people understand what I'm doing, but I think everyone's got the idea by now. Barrels of beer. Hey, Goske. No, it's, it's the what, B1. I oh, know. So, this is so confusing, because I've just, I've just started doing this, like, and my brain is, uh, not not understanding. So there we go. Need to write these down and send the name of these uh, villages. Avastinion? Yeah, definitely got it. So yeah, it's a really fast method to level up your trade, but I'm going to go even faster. So I'll just deliver this, uh, this cargo and then uh, I'll start with the fast method. Alright, so that's the cargo delivered, another two levels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this cargo uh, delivered, not picked up. So Avastinion has a cargo delivered, but not picked up. Um, and then I'm go also going to deliver a cargo to Borea Orga as well. And then I'm going to create another cargo to Borea Orga, however you say it. So... The faster method is to juggle three sets of cargo and you always have one, one set of barrels of beer in your inventory and the other two are waiting to be collected in each village. So it's a little bit more expensive but I've got enough money to afford it so I'm going to do it and it's way faster. Um, so I'm just going to buy a load of beer again. I need to do this another two times. Still not enough. What was it? Sixteen or something? Something like that. I still move. I'm gonna get another one. Okay, now I can't move. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. So, um, I'm gonna use the Umbrella Trader. To make a cargo to borrow get here, however you say it. I want to form a cargo for delivery. It's the one that begins with B. 
That's the one I want. I also, I want one in each, really. So that one. A thousand, a thousand. Where are you? A thousand. You. Yeah, that's the correct one. So I'm going to take that over to uh, Boriagora and also deliver that. And then I will have two sets of cargo, or one set of cargo in each village that's been delivered but not collected. And that will be the that will be uh, the start, the starting point. I just need one more set of beer after that, and then I'm good to go. Whoa. Take the load. Another two levels. Pretty incredible. As you can see, I'm losing 100, 100 dinars per uh, delivery. So, it's not that expensive, really. And if I'm getting like this much XP per hour, and how much is it to uh, get to level 200? I can do the mass at the end. I won't do it yet. Buy some more beer. I think I'm borderline here. Yeah, I think that's the maximum. Won't waste another 2,000 dinars. It doesn't matter which one that I make this delivery to, just it's got to be one of the two, and then I can uh, start the process from there. So, put these barrels of beer in here. I'll make it to um, the B ones, because the one that starts with B is a bit closer. Great. Press R1. Can I go to Bori Korea? I mean, with this method as well, because you're making the cargo yourself, it's way heavier. Like You can make way more weight, which is what's important. Poor 20. Long. And okay, hit. Right, so the very important bit is just about to happen. So you need to make sure that you click the options from the headsman in the correct order. Otherwise, you can kind of mess up the flow of things. So what you want to do when you go to the village is you want to collect delivered cargo first. Now, if you do mess it up, it's not the end of the world. But, uh, so you want to collect the cargo, take the load, warm a cargo for delivery, put these barrels of beer in. I hate the discard option, that's new. Uh, I also hate having to memorize the names of these villages. I'll get it one day. Have Astinion. You have a cargo. As you can see, I, I could collect the cargo, but I'm not going to. That cargo is now stored in the village. And now, uh, the pro the method, it means that I don't have to uh, leave the village and enter the village again. So it's only marginally faster, but it means there's less things for me to do, so I can just watch a movie uh, for more of my time. It's more more AFK, So right now I don't need to do anything. I just need to click on Avastinion and just wait for me to get there. And, you know, I'm still getting two levels every single time I deliver a cargo, which feels pretty good. I've already got ten levels in, like, I don't know, five minutes of doing this. So it's very fast. And again, just make sure that you collect delivered cargo, and then take the load, and then for cargo, move these over here. And is it the B1 now? I think it is, yep. Starting to get the hang of it now. It's fine.
Right now I'm just reading the EU drama chat while uh, I'm delivering some cargo. Everyone's just uh, insulting each other, which is nice. <laughs> 